We're deep into fall now, and I'm starting to run out of ideas. Let's play in my closet. Hi, my name is Sarah. My channel is all about sewing and styling a handmade wardrobe. I hope that everyone is doing well. I've been feeling in a bit of a style rut this fall, and I wanted to brainstorm and come up with some different combinations I'm going to share with you. I have 10 fall outfit ideas with pieces from my wardrobe. Some of them are old and some of them are newer. All of the patterns will be linked down in the description box along with any videos that I have to go with each piece. Now before we get into the outfits, I'd like to share some boots that I received from the brand Vivaya. I worked with Vivaya back in 2022. I like that their shoes are made of a flexible fabric that is water resistant. Many of their styles are machine washable as well. Vivaya is having a Black Friday sale where the percentage off increases with the number of pairs that you buy. I've listed my code with all of the details down in the description box, so make sure you check it out. Full disclosure, I received two pairs of shoes for free, but I was not paid any monetary compensation for making this video, and my links are not affiliate links. The first pair that I chose are these fluffy round toe platform chunky wedge boots, the Amelia style in the color dark chocolate. I ordered a size 6. My true shoe size is a 5 wide, but I often have to size up half a size or even a full size depending on the style of shoe and if I need to add my own insoles. These shoes have a nice amount of support already, but I do find that I need to add an additional insole to make them comfortable for me. I have flat feet, so most people will probably not have the same issue. I find these very easy to walk in with a good amount of traction. They are also partially faux fur lined inside, so it adds a nice layer of warmth. I will mostly wear these with skirts and dresses in colder weather, but in the outfits I style them with skinny jeans, and I think that works as well. The second pair that I received are the square toe ankle Chelsea boots, the Clara style in brown leopard. I really love the subtle touch of leopard print and how it gives a nod to the trend without being too loud. I also love the square shape of the toe and that these have a very low heel and are easy to walk in. I did find that there was not as much support in this pair as there is in the Amelia's, so an additional insole was a must for me. I ordered a size 5.5 and, and without the insole they would have fit perfectly, but with an insole my toes do feel a little bit squeezed. I wish I had gotten the size 6 in this pair. However, I would imagine that people without foot problems could order a half size up and be able to wear thicker socks quite comfortably. Thank you so much to Vivaya for sending me these boots. I think they will get a lot of wear in the colder months. Don't forget about my discount code with links down in the description box. Now I'm going to send you to the 10 outfits. In outfit number one, I'm wearing my Quince Cream Cashmere Sweater. On the bottom, I'm wearing McCall's 2255, which is an out of print pattern for a slip skirt that I made out of silk from Minerva. My shoes are a pair of Vivaya sock booties that are a discontinued style, but I will link something similar down below in the description box. And I'm carrying my vintage coach black ergo bag. One of my favorite cold weather combinations is a silky skirt with a soft textured sweater. I would wear this outfit to the office or out to dinner or even a holiday party. Oh, and I'm also wearing my white ribbed Nico turtleneck underneath as a base layer as well. For outfit number two, I'm wearing my Pattern Scout cozy jacket, which is a relatively new make. It's out of a stretch denim. The t-shirt I'm wearing is a Victory Patterns Francis in black. I have on my Butterick 6388 pleated Ponte pants. My shoes are the Sam Edelman Chelsea boots in black suede, and for a bit of contrast, I added my white quilted hobo bag. Ever since I finished this cozy jacket, I've been reaching for it pretty often. I love the cropped boxy shape. I paired it with a more fitted all black base, and I really like how the white bag stands out against the outfit. This is a versatile outfit for many different situations, work, or more casual for running errands. These pleated ponty pants are as comfy as sweatpants, but they look more polished. For outfit number three, I'm wearing my loft lady jacket and this red tweed. I have on my Helen's Closet white Cameron button-up shirt. On the bottom, I have on my Target black denim midi skirt. I have that on with some textured black tights, and I'm wearing my Vivaya Aria flats, and I'm carrying my Coach Eliza shoulder bag. I had workwear in mind for this outfit. It's a very classic look, but the bright red jacket and the denim midi skirt keep it looking fresh and current. Black, white, and red is one of my absolute favorite color combinations that I return to again and again. I like how this outfit looks really sleek and streamlined, but it's also not overly dressy. It's perfect for my casual office environment. In outfit number four, I'm wearing my ready-to-wear black leather jacket that I've had for years. Underneath is a linen New Look blouse 6707. I paired that with my new green Simplicity Pants 9647. I styled it with my leather cap toe ballet flats and my vintage coach canteen bag. I really wanted to style my new green wide leg pants with a more feminine blouse. The neutral color of the blouse and the leather jacket keep the outfit from being too sweet. 
I loved pairing the green bag, which I would normally use for a pop of color as a more tonal look with the green pants. This is another office appropriate look, but I could also see myself wearing it out to brunch. For number five, I'm wearing my J. Crew knit puffer vest over my brown knit Andy dress from Vicky Sews. I have on the Simple Thing scarf that's knit out of a red cashmere, and I paired that with the Clara Chelsea boot and my Coach Rose Gold rogue bag with snakeskin details. I've had this navy puffer vest for 10 years. I always used to wear it with a plaid shirt and skinny jeans, but I wanted to try to modernize it with this chocolate brown sweater dress. To keep the chill off my neck, I added a red cashmere neck warmer scarf. I love styling dresses more casually in the fall and winter as it gives a cozier feel. For outfit number six, I'm wearing my Carrie Town cabled pullover out of Metal Natasha yarn. I paired that with some Madewell skinny jeans that I bought secondhand. I put on the Amelia platform boots and I'm carrying my coach Sammy bag in chalk. People are saying that skinny jeans are already making a comeback, so I wanted to try to style them in a more updated way. I would usually reach for taller knee-high boots, but in this case, I tried out the Amelia boots as they are more of a mid-calf length and they fit snugly over the jeans. I added texture with a cabled sweater and some color contrast with the white coach bag that calls back to the white faux fur in the boots. This was not my favorite look, but I think that it works well for a work from home day or a weekend around the house. Outfit number seven starts with my Simplicity 9239 denim shirt jacket worn over my red cashmere sweater that I got from Nordstrom. On the bottom, I'm wearing my black linen skirt refashion of Simplicity 9141. I have on my Madewell lace-up boots and my coach heart bag. I have had so much fun styling this summery linen skirt for the colder seasons. Because it's black and so full, it doesn't necessarily scream summer even though it's linen. I think it pairs nicely with the red sweater and these more dainty combat boots. I also added my denim shirt jacket for another layer of warmth. With the heart bag, I think it would make a cute Valentine's Day outfit or a casual date night look. Outfit number eight is another dress look. I have on my Quince black alpaca cardigan over my gray baby tee, which is another Victory Patterns Francis. I have on my Rifle Paper Company Helen's Closet Reynolds dress. I paired that with my Amazon brown riding boots and my Coach Mahogany backpack, which is another vintage purchase. I like to get more mileage out of my summer pieces if I can, so I layered this floral dress over a baby tee and put a cropped cardigan on top. I could have gone with black accessories, but to keep it from getting too visually heavy, I chose chocolate brown accessories instead. I think that it adds a nice bit of contrast and softens the outfit. It's also just as comfy as wearing loungewear, and if necessary, I could even make it warmer by adding thicker tights and perhaps a scarf or shawl when it's really cold. Outfit number nine starts with the Nomi 2089 green cropped trench. Underneath, I have on my blue and white Hey June Willamette shirt. On the bottom, I'm wearing my closet core white jude jeans and my Nisolo lace-up boots, and I'm wearing my vintage coach suede hobo bag. I couldn't wait to style my new cropped trench coat, so I went with white for a nice contrast. The base of the outfit is white with a bit of blue in the printed shirt. I kept the footwear and bag in a lighter color. I think that it works better with the white jeans. I also enjoy the pairing of the more tailored look of the jacket with the more outdoorsy suede lace-up boots. It's definitely one of my favorite things to do, pairing different styles together for a contrast in the outfit. For outfit number 10, I'm wearing my Thread and Supply Olive Quilted Jacket. I have on my brown Pattern Emporium Keep It Simple Babe tee. On top of that, I have on my white tailored vest, which is Butterick 6901. I'm wearing my Fiber Mood Betty jeans, and the footwear is the Clara Chelsea boots. And to finish it off, I'm wearing my Vintage Coach Brown Nubuck bag. I saved my favorite outfit for last. I honestly wasn't sure if this tailored vest was going to layer well over the semi-fitted tee, but it actually worked perfectly. I feel like this outfit gives me the illusion of curves with the nipped-in waist and the subtle barrel leg jeans. Adding the brown leopard Chelsea boots and the new buck bag keeps the look casual and effortless. I added this casual quilted coat to complete the look, but I think a blazer would be a great addition to this outfit for a dressier option. I'd like to thank Levaya again for sending me these boots, and don't forget to use my discount code which is down in the description box. Let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it so much if you would give me a like and please consider subscribing to my channel. If you like watching these types of styling videos, I will link another one for you to watch right here. Thank you so much for watching.